good morning. Welcome to another installment of Matt's Towing and Recovery. So today's video is just a mashup. I know I do my midweek mashups. This one's gonna be a regularly scheduled program mashup. But first, it's story time. I've had a couple of people ask me if I've ever had anybody that refused to pay after we did the job, particularly in the off-road recovery, and I never had until recently. So that's the story I'm gonna tell today. I got a call about 11.30 at night. I was out of town, and so I dispatched Eric to go and recover this, it was a razor that had become entangled in a fence. I quoted the price, which they agreed to. It was a, a mother and son. So I sent Eric out there. While he was en route, somebody stopped, and they had wire cutters, and they just cut the, cut the fence. So they were all still there when Eric arrived in the Jeep. And in cases like this where we respond, we charge a GOA fee. We're just gonna collect for the, the work that we did. And it's usually 25% to 50% of the quoted price, just depending on how far we drove and what, what vehicle we took. I believe the GOA price on this job was $40. Do you remember, Jamie? Yeah, I think it was $40. They're like, okay, we'll pay it. Follow us to Maverick so that we can get the money out of the ATM. And then they jumped in the razor and then they headed out to the sand dunes out south of town. There was no way that the Jeep could catch up or keep up with them. We couldn't run them down. Eric wasn't able to in the Jeep just because a razor is going to outrun any Jeep out there. So Eric decided to see if maybe they were just taking an alternate route to, to Maverick. And so he went there and waited 30 or 45 minutes, somewhere somewhere in that range. Of course, they never showed up. And of course, they never answered the phone. So it's been, it was a couple weeks. I tried contacting them a dozen times over that period. And finally, the mom called me back because I texted a picture of the bill, which was now more because we have some collection fees on it. So now she's upset because she's like, well, we tried to pay that night, but your guy wasn't at Maverick when we got there, which is just not the case. Then her claim was that we didn't do anything, so she doesn't owe us anything. And it's not worth it. It's not worth my time. So the story in a nutshell, they called us out for a service. We accomplished the service that we were able to, which was in the, the verbal contract. They decided not to pay us and have since refused to pay us it's not worth taking a small claim 40 bucks not it's just not worth it it's been a total waste of our time trying to collect so instead i'm just going to tell their story on my youtube channel and i hope you enjoyed it now on to the real video Snap. Look at how easy he makes I know. 
Like, seriously? Wow. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video added some scope to what we do on a daily basis with the off-road recovery side of the business. We've got some really great videos in the works right now. We've got a walk around on Jeep number two. Some of you have been asking for that. We have got the recovery gear video that I have started putting together, explaining the gear that we use and showing how the Jeep is equipped. and. Then later this summer, we are gonna be starting a build on a brand new recovery vehicle. It's gonna be built from the ground up, single purpose recovery vehicle. I'm really excited about it. We'll be, uh, we'll be releasing the build videos of that as we start on that. <laughs>